dear friends welcome to learning about in this video i'm going to solve the reasoning questions of uh, rrb ntpc one of uh, the previous year uh, papers so sometime uh, next uh, month that is uh, mid of december uh, 2020 uh, the rrb ntpc uh, 2019 recruitment exam is going to happen uh, so uh, i guess it will be Uh, this video would be uh, especially useful for uh, the people who are uh, appearing uh, for the exam next month and i have already solved uh, the mathematics uh, 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 questions and i have uploaded the video uh, so to, the link to that video is available in the description below you can uh, look at it uh, now before i go to the questions uh, so this is the uh, pattern for the first stage computer based uh, uh, test total of 100 uh, questions uh one and a half hours that is 90 minutes duration general awareness 40 questions mathematics 30 and general intelligence and reasoning 30 questions now what i have done is this 60 questions like i have taken like 33 questions as max and like 26 questions as uh, the reasoning questions okay so i'll be solving the 26 questions uh, uh in uh, the video 33 questions i have considered as max questions and i have uploaded i have solved it uh, uh, already and there is a, a negative mark of uh, Minus one by three for every wrong answer. Please keep that in uh, mind. Now the syllabus uh, that is given uh, in the official notification. Uh, this is the list of uh, topics. Now wherever required, please pause the video. Be it the questions or the uh, titles listed here. Please pause the video and look at it in details. So uh, the as far as the split up is concerned, it is more or less evenly uh, distributed. Like you have questions on number series, alphabet series, coding, decoding, and all that. Okay, it is kind of evenly uh, distributed. Though there isn't, uh, there wasn't any data sufficiency questions exactly uh, the last time around. Right now, uh, to the questions. the first question uh, it is uh, finding the missing uh, alphabet um, i mean missing uh, the term in the sequence so we have h g i j l k m n and we have to find the uh, next uh, in the uh, series okay so i think it's better to go for the alphabetical uh, order let's have this sequence so it can be from left to right or right to left it is okay so just for convenience i will uh, mark uh, the numbers for easy identification So what do we have here? H is uh, like eight, and uh, I'm yeah. H is eight, and G is seven, and uh, I is nine. J is ten. L is twelve. K is eleven. M is thirteen. N is fourteen. Okay. So what will be next in the sequence? So what we have is seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay. So next will be fifteen, sixteen. Next will be fifteen, sixteen. But but if you look here, so eight comes first, then seven. Nine comes first, then ten. So it is changing the sequence. Uh, is changing for every alternate terms. Okay. So eight, seven, nine, ten, twelve, eleven. Okay. Then thirteen, fourteen. Okay, so now after thirteen, fourteen, it will be it will not be fifteen, sixteen. It will be like sixteen, fifteen in that order. Okay, the alphabets are fifteenth and sixteenth alphabets, but in the order of sixteen and fifteen. Now that's the sequence. Okay, because here we have eight, seven. Then we have twelve, eleven. So next it will be sixteen, fifteen. Next it will be sixteen, fifteen. So sixteen is P, fifteen is O. So P O is the answer for answer option B. okay so consecutive terms fine but the position is changing for every alternate uh, term so in that uh, case the answer is like option b po the second question x is the only daughter of y's grandfather's only son y's grandfather has got only one child okay uh, and how is x related to y okay so now please remember as well as uh, the questions on blood relationship people belonging to the same generation keep them in the same uh, level okay same horizontal level in the like a hierarchical diagram okay so when i say same generation for example like uh, uh, so brother sister uh, uh, cousin all of them should be in the same 
level or the same gen same they belong to the same generation they should be in the same level the next uh, level you can have like uh, uh, father mother uncle aunt etc right so they belong to one level and so on okay now they are talking about why is a grandfather's only son okay so grand why is there okay so why and then like uh, next generation and then you top of it you have why is grandfather okay now why is grandfather's only son is mentioned here and it says why is grandfather has got only one child okay so has got only one son and only one child okay so that is why is father okay so why is father father's father okay so why is father father's father okay so we have three generation now who is x x is the only daughter of y is grandfather's okay so why is grandfather is uh, the person here why is grandfather grandfather's only son grandfather's only son is y's father and uh, x is her i mean I, i'm sorry s is x is his daughter yes is his daughter okay now the question is how is x related to y now y and x they have the same uh, father and x uh, the gender is very clear okay because it's given x is the only daughter it is uh, given so x is uh, a female right and uh, for both y and x they have the same father so we can be for sure we can say for sure x is the sister of b x is the sister of uh, b that's the answer for the second question now the third question okay now now in this uh, question triangle represents tiger rectangle represents leopard and circle represents lion so the question says so there are three questions here the question says study the following diagram and answer the questions based on it the diagram represents the likes of uh, children in a society okay so number of children okay who like you know like tiger who like leopard who like lion okay so that is represented in this image now let's look at the questions the first question here the difference between children who like leopard to that of the tiger okay so leopard is a rectangle leopard is a rectangle and tiger is the triangle tiger is the triangle leopard is a rectangle and tiger is the triangle okay so what we have to look for is the you have to count uh, the people who like leopard that is the numbers in the triangle that is 30 20 35 and 35 so 30 plus 20 plus 35 plus 35 now that amounts to 120 that amounts to 120 okay i'm sorry that um, that amounts to 120 now tiger the number in the triangle so that's like 35 5 and 45 now that amounts to 85 35 5 and 45 now that amounts to 85 now we have to find the difference between 120 and 85 that's 35 that's 35 that's answer option b for the third question how many children like both the lion and the leopard okay so lion is circle and uh, the leopard is uh, the rectangle now we have to find the common area between the circle and the rectangle common area between the circle and the rectangle this is this 20 35 and 35 okay so we just have to count it 20 35 plus 35 that amounts to 90 that's answer option c for the fourth question so who like both lion and leopard so which is common to circle and the rectangle now how many children who like lion also like the tiger okay so lion is circle tiger is the triangle okay so common area for both the triangle and the circle now common area for both the triangle and the circle is this 35 and 5 so that amounts to 40 that 35 plus 5 that is common to both the triangle and the circle that's answer option d 40 answer for the fifth question so three very simple questions now the next one statement and conclusions statements followed by some conclusions are given below now the statement says uh, employees are paid well okay fine rajan earns well okay so what can be the possible conclusions see uh, now here now employees are paid well 
and rajan earns well okay so it can be related it may not be related because see we can assume that rajan through some other means okay so maybe he is into some business okay so he is he is earning well okay uh, or he he is an employee okay and because of that he is earning well okay so it is not very clear okay so it is not very clear now let's look at the conclusion a conclusion says rajan is an employee right maybe may not be now that is not the right conclusion that is not right conclusion so conclusion 1 does not follow now rajan is a self employed again we don't know right so we don't know for sure whether rajan is an employee we don't know for sure if rajan is self employed okay so both the conclusions does not follow so answer for this question is answer option d neither one nor do follows now the next question find the similarity in the following so we have orange peach olive and carmine so option c is all of them are fruits okay no all of them are seasons no all of them are colors is yes, possible all of them are shades of orange no okay so these three are not correct option c is the right answer for question number 7 all of them are colors now eighth question okay so it is a it looks like like a lengthy question but it's very easy to solve so it has a shop owner has uh, keeps an inventory satisfying the following criteria so he has shampoo sachets sh- priced between shampoo priced between 4 to 10 rupees uh, per uh, sachet okay and the chocolates uh, priced between 1 to uh, 60 per uh, piece okay and uh, dry fruits uh, casting uh, 125 rupees per 100 grams okay more than 125 rupees per 100 grams and uh, milk packets are uh, anywhere between uh, 21 to 29 per liter okay so this is uh, the rate the ra- range of the rates now there are four conditions that are given or four situations we are given and we are supposed to find out which among the list is not following is definitely not to be found in the shop okay definitely not to be found in this shop so as a reminder we'll again write what we have already written there so shampoo can be priced between 4 to uh 10 and uh chocolates 1 to 60 right and uh, dry fruit uh, it should be more than 125 rupees uh, for 100 grams and then uh, the milk packets are priced anywhere between 21 to 29 okay so this is the price range now shampoo at uh, 4 per packet is okay chocolates at 1.5 per piece is okay now dry fruits uh, see at uh, okay so dry fruit uh, at uh, so here this chocolate here you know like uh, this c denotes chocolate okay so i'm not relating it to the alphabet that is there so dry fruit uh, uh at uh, one, 250 uh, per 125 grams is more than 250 per one, 125 grams it's like uh, 200 rupees for 100 grams it's 200 rupees for 100 grams okay so, so this is also permitted this is also permitted so option a is fine okay that is not our final answer shampoo 5 rupees is okay uh liter milk packet 23 rupees is, is agreed okay and dry fruit 150 per gram that's fine because it has to be more than 125 so that is also okay now shampoo at 5 is okay chocolate at 1 rupee is okay now dry fruit at uh, 100 per 100 grams it is not okay it is not okay right so because it has to be more than 125 so this is my final answer but anyhow let me confirm uh, the answer by looking at answer option d as well shampoo at 4 is okay milk packet at 24.5 is okay because it has to be between 21 to 29 and chocolate at 35 per piece is okay because it has it can be anything between 1 to 60 and uh, this is uh, dry fruit at uh, 350 by 200 is like 175 grams sorry 175 rupees for 100 grams okay which is more than 125 rupees which is supposed to be the price so this is also agreed upon price so the answer for uh, this question is answer option c answer option c is uh then which will not be found okay which will not be found in the shop that's answer option c because of the dry fruit cost is less than 125 rupees ninth question if delhi is coded as a qryuv then bombay is okay now again just quickly uh, let's use this delhi d is uh, 4 e is 5 l is 
12 h is uh, 8 and i is 9 q is uh, 17 r is 18 y is uh, 25 u is uh, 21 and v is uh, 22 okay now just relationship is easily predictable plus 13 now every alphabet okay so 5 plus 13 is 18 okay 12 plus 13 is 25 and so on okay so it's easily predictable it's easily predictable now let's look at uh, bombay now bombay the b is 2 o is 15 m is 13 b is uh, 2 a is 1 and uh, y is uh, 25 now if you add 13 if you add 13 what do you get you get uh, 2 plus 13 is uh, 15 now 15 plus 13 is 28 15 plus 13 is 28 right now 28 means after considering 26 alphabets you should again start from the first alphabet okay so 26 alphabet is uh, z 27th alphabet again will be a starting from a so 28th alphabet would be b okay that is second position and 13 plus 13 is 26 okay and 2 we already seen 2 is 15 and in place of 1 you will have 14 and in place of uh, 25 25 plus uh, 13 that will be 38 that means it will be the 12th alphabet okay now 15th alphabet is o second alphabet is b and uh, this is z and uh, 15th uh, alphabet is o and 14th alphabet is n and uh, 12th alphabet is uh, l okay now right or as you find out the numbers you can also look at the answer choice and eliminate whichever is not possible okay so the moment you get b here you know answer option b and c are ruled out okay answer option b and c are ruled out after that we have then and after that after once you determine uh, uh, okay also so the moment you get b here this is over right also this b and this b right so both when you know this b is 15 the other b is also 15 okay need not be always for all the other questions but for this question that is how it is okay so this b uh, like it is coded you know like like 15, 13 letters uh, uh, to the uh, uh, right so if this is o then that the other b is also o so based on that also you can narrow it down okay so it, it is not so what i'm trying to say here is that it is not necessary that you have to narrow down like all the alphabets you know like all the places six let uh, six uh, positions you have to uh, get it, i'm not saying that you, you can just you know like uh, with the answer choice you can mark uh, easily right question number uh, 10 if going is coded as 3250 and casual is coded as uh, 409106 okay logical is coded as so now whenever this kind of a coding decoding is given okay or even like for the previous question we should always look at whether if there is any change between odd position and even position now what do we mean by odd position and even position for example now if you count the positions okay now as far as g is concerned in both the cases it is odd okay just leave it at now you look at uh, a here okay now a here is 2 which is an even position and uh, a here is 5 which is an odd position in both the cases it is repeat it is represented by o okay now which means when you want to code logical right now you don't have to look for any sequence you just take the number from here or you just take the code from here in other words so l is coded as 6 so you take 6 right then a is i mean i'm sorry o is coded as 8 so you take 8 which means options a and c are out okay and s is coded as uh, okay i'm sorry g we want g g is coded as 3 so 3 and then i is coded as 2 so you write 2 okay now you got the answer you just move on this is the answer you just move on okay so this is not my answer right but if you want to confirm let me write uh, c is coded as 4 a 0 and l is 6 okay so we can confirm answer option d but wherever possible just stop it and move on because you have 100 questions to solve and there is only 90 minutes so it is going to be challenging though the mathematics questions are they're also like very simple question but still wherever possible it is better to save the time question number 11 
yes said ours only brother is uh, the father of my son's father how is ours brother related to yes okay so yes is saying uh, ours okay there is r ours only brother ours only brother is the father of my son's father okay now ours only brother is the father okay is the father of my son's father okay son's father okay so father of son's father okay so that is referring to the brother itself okay yes said yes said ours brother is related i'm uh, i'm sorry yes said ours brother is the father of my son's father okay so yes yes son okay son of yes you have yes son of yes okay right and uh, ours only brother ours only brother is the father of my son's father okay i'm sorry i'm sorry like uh, i'm sorry he is not referring to himself i'm not uh, he is is not referring to himself i'll just rewrite it once again okay uh so you i have mean yes is speaking yes son okay yes is speaking okay uh we'll just you know like go in the uh, hierarchy yes the speaker is yes okay the speaker is yes now yes has got a son okay father of my son's father okay so yes son son's father son's father is the husband of uh, yes okay so son's father is the spouse okay husband of uh, yes father of my son's father okay so father of my son's father his father okay so son's father his father and ours only brother is that father okay so now i'll connect to the first statement so you just read the whole thing once then you decide whether you want to come from the first statement to this first part of the statement to the second part or from second part of the okay basically what we have to do here is we have to break these statements okay so r is the only brother is one part okay so sons okay so father of okay my sons father that's the second part or even the second part you can just break into one more okay so we can break the whole thing into three parts and then right that will be it will be better okay and uh, so this father is ours only brother okay so ours only brother ours only brother okay now the question is how is ours brother related to yes son okay so ours brother how is he related to yes son okay so yes son son's father's father that is grandfather that's grandfather okay in fact in fact now this question for better understanding i have tried to uh, write here okay now we can guess the answer based on the because the question is easy because the question is not even about yes and all that because the question is easy we can even guess it directly okay father of my son's father okay father of my son's father is grandfather so you can mark the answer directly without doing any of this writing we can we could have marked the answer directly so wherever possible of course the hierarchical diagram which i said uh, which i advised earlier all that is fine but wherever possible if you can directly get the answer that is also fine right so that's answer for uh, uh, answer option b for question number 11 now question number 12 rearrange the jumbled letters to make a meaningful uh, word and then select one that is different okay so the clue for me uh, i think i can get it from here okay so neo if i rearrange i get one okay so then i try to look for if there are any uh, other uh, numbers i can look here in terms of numbers expressed in terms of words so i can guess i can i have 9 here and i can see that i have 3 here right now this if i rearrange maybe i have pipe here okay but i don't get any any 
words that represents uh, numbers okay so this is the odd one out options a b and d that is 9 1 and 3 they are numbers expressed in words whereas option c is not a number okay if we rearrange we get pipe so that is the one that is different so selecting the odd one out 12 answer option c question number 13 if guitar is uh, h t j s b q then violin uh, is equal to right now now as you can see here g h next letter is h so plus 1 now u previous letter minus 1 so here it is changing between odd places and even places i next letter is j t previous letter is yes like that okay so v plus 1 is w anyhow we have vh common we have vh common we don't even have to worry but anyhow i'll write okay so i minus 1 is h o next letter o plus 1 o plus 1 next one is p so these two options are out these two options are out now then i have l previous one previous letter is k okay so i next letter i no this is plus one now the previous one was minus one this is next one j so this is my answer option b is the right answer for question number 13 now anyhow the next one is k n previous letter is m so that's k so answer option b for question number 13 question number 14 it talks about uh, protein are used uh, by the body for energy metabolism gene growth and maintenance 10 to 35 percent of the daily calorie intake should uh, ideally consist of protein they are found in cells uh, in all cells of the body hair and nail are made up of a protein called keratin uh, having sulfur bonds a uh, curlier hair has uh, more sulfur links uh, too much intake of proteins uh, uh, can sometimes lead to body weight okay so first it is talking about uh, the need for you know like uh, uh, protein I mean, or you know like in what or what is the advantage or in what way they contribute okay so it talks about gene growth and maintenance and all that okay and then it talks about where protein is uh, present okay and all that it talks about and then finally it is talking about too much intake okay so too much intake uh, of protein okay now let's see what so this question is about kind of you know like what is asked is a summary of uh, what is asked uh, what has been said in the paragraph uh, now let's look at the options okay so proteins dash options are are used by body for any of its function okay so that doesn't look good okay so uh, this is not my answer but anyhow i'll just go to the next option are required by the body in adequate quantities now this must be my right answer because the first part of it talks about the need for it and the last part is talking about too much so it is about balanced okay so it is about balanced uh, requirement of protein that is what is advocated here so we can say it is body in adequate quantities anyhow let's go to answer option c as well make shiny hair length and black no it is not uh, like that okay it is not uh, mentioned like that do not cause gain, uh, weight gain no that is no the passage is not about that okay so the option b is the right uh, answer for question number 14 question number 15 to uh, 17 okay so we have an analytical reasoning uh, question so there are five uh, pickles mango lime tomato gooseberry and garlic that are kept in five jars uh, in a row in a random order from left to right gooseberry is not on either of the extreme there is one jar between mango and garlic tomato is placed on the left side of uh, lime okay it is not list me it is lime and uh, second jar from the left contains garlic see we have five positions right now they have given in the order one two three four now we don't have to really go in that order i think i can pick up the second statement i'm sorry the fourth statement first which is second jar from the left contains jarly garlic so uh, let me call this left to right okay let this be my one to five okay so you are right you can consider it as, as their right i mean your left or your left and your right you can consider it as their left and uh, their right as well okay so this is a question on seating arrangement basically so second jar uh, contains garlic so you can just write it as gc second jar contains garlic okay now uh, so gooseberry is not on the other uh, either extremes that's fine there is one jar between mango and garlic okay now let me consider the second statement after for the fourth statement now, there is one jar between mango and garlic now mango cannot be here in the first position so mango uh, 
will be here there is one jar between mango and garlic so mango can take only the fourth position mango can take only the fourth position there is no other alternative so my say i have used my fourth statement i have used my second statement okay and and next what i have is gooseberry is not on the either extreme so now i'll use the first statement so gooseberry is not on the left most or the right most so gooseberry is in the middle then we have tomato is placed left side of lime so between tomato and lime tomato is on the left and lime is on uh, the right so this is my order now let's look at uh, the questions also it is better that you look at the questions and then you go for the arrangement that is also fine okay so what do i have is uh, tomato garlic uh, gooseberry mango and lime this is the order that i have got now there are two jars between which are the following lime and gooseberry lime and gooseberry there is only one jar okay so this is not my answer gooseberry and tomato uh, there is nothing between them so this is not my answer mango and lime uh, there is nothing between them that is not my answer so between tomato and uh, mango there are two jars garlic and uh, gooseberry so option d is the answer for question number 15 next lime is uh, which jar from the left that is the fifth jar lime is the fifth jar from the left lime is fifth jar from the left answer option a is the answer for that now the middle jar uh, contains middle jar contains gooseberry okay so the order was um, tomato garlic gooseberry okay mango and lime this was the order and the middle jar is gooseberry so the answer is answer option c for question number 17 now question number 18 if the mathematical operators plus means okay so we have to just uh, substitute uh, the given operators here now into now into means division so 1 divided by 2 plus uh, means uh, plus means multiplication so into 6 minus means uh, plus so plus 2 division uh, means uh, minus 7 okay so we know the bod mos rule now we have to do simplification so in bod mos b stands for bracket o for op, of d for division m for multiplication a for addition and s for subtraction so 1 divided by 2 that's the first thing then multiply by 6 then add by 2 and then minus 7 so 2 6 Three times, so three plus, uh, so you have three plus two minus seven, so that is five minus seven. Now that's equal to minus two. That's answer option B for question number eighteen. Question number nineteen, another simplification question, but they have asked us to interchange. Okay, so if you take as it is, what happens? You have two by sixteen minus two plus six uh, into one. That will be six. now this will give you a fraction but they are saying it should it, it be zero right so which means we should definitely interchange the division operator we should definitely interchange the division operator from the answer choice let me take a guess and uh, substitute answer choice uh, c there and okay so if i interchange uh, division and minus what happens 2 minus 16 divided by 2 plus 6 into 1 now this is what i'll get now after this if i simplify 2 minus 16 by 2 now division is what i should take first plus 6 into 1 i should take 6 okay now what do i have 2 minus 8 plus 6 now that's equal to 0 so my guess is correct answer option c is the answer okay so the moment i look at 2 by 16 i know 2 by 16 is what 1 by 8 okay which is 0.125 or whatever right so so that is going to give us a fraction so that will uh, the ultimate result may not be zero so that's why we are looking for interchanging of uh, the division symbol and th that uh, which one we should interchange that we are taking it from the answer choice so answer option c for question number 19 question number 20 blood relationship question looking at the photo on and said the man is the eldest son of uh, my father's mother in law so you have anand anand's father father's mother in law okay so father's mother in law is fa father okay so uh, his wife which is who is anand's uh, mother and uh, the mother in law okay looking at the photo man said this man is the eldest son of 
my father's uh, mother in law so father's mother in law eldest son now father's wife the, there's a mother of anand this the daughter of the mother in law and there is son of mother in law the question is how is anand's mother related to this man okay and they are siblings they are siblings okay so they both have the same mother so uh, anand's mother uh, and the mother in law's okay this the eldest son of my father's mother in law they are siblings so anand's mother is the sister of anand's mother is the sister that's answer option d question number 21 assertion and uh, reason uh, so we have to see whether assertion and reason are, uh, are correct and uh, like and also we have to state whether if the reason is the correct explanation now leaves are green in color yes and the chlorophyll a green pigment uh, is present in the leaves it's true and that is the correct explanation so answer option a both a and r are two both a and r are uh, two and uh, and r is the correct explanation of a that's the answer that's answer option a question number 22 statement and conclusion the price of uh, the price of pulses uh, has increased steeply uh, conclusion 1 people cannot uh, buy uh, pulses conclusion 2 uh, pulses have become rare commodity see people cannot buy pulses we can't be sure i mean that is a possibility but uh, uh, if suppose let's assume if people have got the buying power you now prices have increased fine but if people have the buying power right they can definitely buy or uh if uh, you know like uh, so there are many things can happen okay so in a country like ours okay so the government can subsidize so a lot of things can happen so eight people will be able to buy so that is not uh, really true okay there is not a uh, a direct conclusion if such a thing is not possible pulses have become a rare commodity uh so again that is uh, may not be you no know, like the right conclusion to uh, make there could be Uh, other reasons you know like uh, uh, why you know like pulses have increased you no know, because of uh, uh, increase in uh, transportation cost so there could be other reasons like increase in uh, transportation cost okay so uh, the be one item becoming a rare commodity that may not be the only reason that's one of the reasons that may be a reason okay uh, but that is not the only reason so there could be other reasons like transportation cost and all that so answer for this question is neither one nor two follows okay so both are not uh, uh we are not uh, sure okay so it is not the direct inference of such thing is not possible so answer is answer option d 23 uh so analogy truthful and honest okay so they are you know like uh, very uh, similar they are very uh, same they are very connected okay uh now what are the options uh, you know if you look at the options here including and excluding or opposite in meaning now winning and losing are also again opposite in meaning now procuring and disposing is also opposite in meaning and not withstanding and nevertheless are similar in meaning okay so answer for this question is not withstanding and not withstanding and nevertheless okay so they have similar in meaning the other three options have opposite uh, meaning other three pairs have opposite meaning and option a is the right answer question number 23 now uh, question number uh, 24 we have a number series here now if you look at the series one thing we can notice the series is in descending order okay this is series in descending uh, order continuously decreasing and so let's try to look at the uh, difference here so we have 0.5 difference here uh we have two i mean we have like three we have 0.5 here and then we have uh, 3.5 here and there is a difference of 4.5 here between these two okay uh, so let me assume there is a difference uh, of 2.5 here between this uh, number and uh, for, for x the missing number and 45.5 and there is a uh, a difference of 1.5 so 0.5 1.5 2.5 3.5 4.5 this seems feasible so which means this number should be 48 so 49.5 minus 1.5 is 48 48 minus 2.5 is 45.5 so the answer is answer option b 48 because the sequence is a consecutively decreasing one and uh, after that 
based on the difference between the numbers we can uh, predict easily answer option b 48 25 four pa uh, pairs of words are given find uh, the odd one out ear hearing tongue taste mouth speech light vision okay i think this is the odd one out now ear tongue mouth they are all parts of body and they are used for the corresponding purpose e ear is used for hearing tongue is used for taste identifying the taste mouth is used for uh, speech okay now light and vision probably if we had i then it would have uh, uh, been correct but uh, light and vision right now with uh, when we look at the other analogies now this when you look at the other pairs now this the odd one out 25 answer option d question number 26 if insect is equal to uh, this coding and r is equal to this now what is system we just consider okay the first four are common in all okay so just forget about this part take e now e is here the fourth letter now that is exclamatory mark and r is question mark r is question mark okay and uh, n is r is question mark and n is n is second letter here it is and a symbol okay so that's answer option c answer option c for the last question question number 26 okay so other the other options are ruled out right so i've come to the end of uh, this uh, video i hope uh, you like the methods uh, if you have any uh, questions or doubts please post in the comments uh, below and for more videos on quantitative aptitude and uh, job alerts please uh, subscribe to our channel uh, learning about thanks for watching the video